Okay, so <clears throat> so just two small verifications. Mm -hmm. like, so when I do, I take the mantra, and yeah. and then I it is a there is a point that I cannot do it anymore. Like it stopped, and I I come to the awareness, and I I wonder what to do next. What should I do? Uh, <clears throat> what mantra are you using? I use mostly Dhamma yeah. and Sati also. Little bit. Okay. Yeah. What, hap what happens when you come to it? Anymore? I, 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 I'm coming to the awareness. It's like I feel relaxed and I feel good. It's, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a good feeling. Mm -hmm. This awareness. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You should not go to the awareness. You should, you should stick with the, with the dhamma or with the sati. Yeah. <clears throat> Until the mind, I mean, it really focuses in. Yeah. Only then can you jump to the awareness. Yeah? Focus in on what? In on one point. I mean, it really. You really feel it. You know. It, it goes into one, yeah? It just goes like in a tunnel, yeah? Where? What? Where? Where? Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is an expression or this is a feeling. <clears throat> in that time, okay. So, I mean, most of the time it is, there is a, when, when the Buddha stops or when the Dhamma stops, yeah, there is some feeling that we really don't want to do it anymore. And then we should not switch to the awareness. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then, then, the, then you have to catch the thought that comes before you want to stop. Yeah. I mean, you're bored or you you don't want to, and so on, and it is yeah. Hmm? And then you have to investigate boredom or whatever comes up. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not in a bad way. It's kind of a relaxing kind of. Yeah, yeah. It is in a relaxed way, and that's. Why, we, why the mind automatically focuses on the relaxation yes. and it doesn't focus on the Buddha or Dhamma anymore. Okay. Yeah? But you have to understand that with keeping our attention on the Buddha or Dhamma, yeah, I mean the relaxation appears. Yeah? The moment we focus on the relaxation, hmm, I mean it will disappear very quickly. So okay. So you have to, you have to produce this relaxation with with the concentration on the Buddha or on the Dhamma. Yeah. So should I continue like yeah. little forcefully kind of Dhamma, Dhamma? Yeah, I mean, it it will drop into the heart, you know. Yeah. I mean, it will become automatic, and all what you have to do is then observe it. Yes. Until. Until it really stops. Okay. Yeah? Not because you're bored, because I mean the, the, the concentration gets so strong that you can't even think about anything anymore. You can't think of a tea, you can, can't think of, of the whole world. Yeah? Mm. That what, what happens right now, you know, is it, some sort of samadhi. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. And that's why you jump, because I mean you you, you feel relaxed and you feel happy, you know, and that, yeah. And that's what, what all the people do, you know, when, whenever they have a nice feeling, they go to the feeling. Yeah? yeah. But we, do, we, are, we don't understand that through our practice of the Buddha or of the Dhamma, or of observing the breath, this feeling of relaxation or this feeling of happiness arises. Yeah? So the moment we stop with our practice, I mean, also the feeling will disappear. So I just continue? Yeah. Here. Okay. You continue until you come close to the point where, where you really where, where you really get stuck and then ask me. Okay. okay. Yeah. And, and, uh, and the other thing about the breath. Yeah. Um, so also there's a point when I don't want to breathe. Like, I, so I need to stop breathing. I like, but then I choke. I, I feel like... Yeah, because there, there's some fear, and then you have to overcome this fear. Yeah? 
<coughs> but actually you don't feel that you don't want to breathe anymore. You, the, the feeling is more like the breath actually stops. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. And then it's the same thing. Then you have to jump to the awareness. When the breath really stops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for most of people who are not really interested in what is going on, then this fear comes up and then it, it, it throws us back. Yeah, the fear does come up. I just, I wonder if, like, I cannot, can I not breathe? I don't know. Yeah. So, so the problem that I cannot go into the, the awareness is because I, the, the fear, fear is coming. In the fear, it's not... Be more interested in what is actually happening. Because then you can overcome this, the, the whole problem. Yeah. It will automatically, you know, I mean, for, 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 for most of the people, yeah, I mean, if, if they are interested enough, it will overcome all the problems. Yeah. But if we, if we always look with one eye, you know, to decide what is happening, then we will never, and then it will be very difficult to get to the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you know, I mean, the breath becomes so subtle that you know the breath, yeah? You don't feel it anymore. That's important, yeah? yeah. You only know the breath. And the, the knowing of the breath is much clearer than the feeling of the breath. You mean the, you mean the, the breath energy kind of? Uh, the whole breath energy. body, you know, you, you, really, you really know it, yeah? And the knowing and the feeling is very different. The knowing is much clearer. Mm -hmm. And the feeling is, you know, I mean, it, it varies, yeah? Yeah. yeah? So when you know that the breath stops, then you jump to the knowingness, yeah? not to the awareness. What do you think? What do you think of the Aware, being aware of something. Knowing is knowing. Knowing of what is going on. It is not necessarily awareness. Yeah? Because the knowingness, yeah, I mean the knowingness can, you know, can be a part of this awareness. <clears throat> but when you, when you jump to this knowingness, then the knowingness is there. But the knowingness does not know of any objects. That is the difference. It just knows. That is the substance, that is the substance of, you know, um, of, of Nibbana, it just knows. I, see, I don't see the difference between awareness and knowingness. Awareness is always aware of something. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. It always, awareness has to have an object. Yeah? Okay. So we, we are aware of the breath. Yeah? But the knowingness knows how the breath is. So you, you get a little bit... No, sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Test it out. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it's all about trial and error. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just, think about it, you know, when, when you learn to walk or when you learn to talk. It's all about trial and error. Ah, do they understand? No. Okay, try it again. Do they understand now? No, they understand. Yeah? Yeah. So, also this practice is about trial and error. Yeah? Okay. And the more and the, the deeper you come, I mean, the more you understand. Yeah? I just also want to say that uh, my time here is going well and I, I feel like benefit and uh, I'm enjoying and thank you. Let's go, okay. There's somebody else coming. I mean, come together when you ask questions. Huh? Look a week. Not, not, I mean, every time, you know, and then I sit here for five hours. You can also listen to what he has to say, you know, you can learn from it. But, but also what I, what I was doing, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. My question is, you said um, recollection in the mm. evening is very important. Yeah. 
It's the first, it's the first, you know, I mean, after investigation of pain, it is one of the investigations that, that shows us what is going on in our life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I talk, I talk so often about it. Yeah? But I don't really understand the meaning of that. To to see what 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 happened in the in the past day. You don't see the meaning. What what we do is I in the morning we wake up. Huh? Yeah. Then the first thing that we realize is what kind of thoughts, what kind of memories are in the mind. And then we do something. Then we see, you know, what we want to do, yeah? So there must be an intention, there must be a thought. So what are we doing next? What kind of thought, yeah? And what, what you will understand is how these thoughts that are, are, sw you know, are floating around in your mind, yeah? Change your moods, decide your moods, decide your actions. And that is something that we want to understand, yeah? We want to understand when we when we open a car, yeah, and see the engine. We want to understand how this engine works. Otherwise, we can't fix it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, I still don't get it. What? I understand what you say. So what? Yeah. I, I mean, why are you doing things? You don't know. Somebody tells you to do it. Huh? But what came before of this telling you to do it? This, this uh, intention. Who yeah, and where, why did the, what came before the intention? See, and that is important. Because without any, without any, anything happening, there is no intention coming up. Mm -hmm. I understand what you want. What? We, we want to understand the process, yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, <clears throat> for instance, the farmer, yeah? The farmer puts a, puts a seed into the earth and waters it, yeah? And looks, yeah? And what happens to it, yeah? If it grows. Huh? Yeah, it will grow. It's the same thing. Your feelings will grow. Yeah? But you don't remember what kind of seed you put in. Huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why we are doing it, what we are doing, what is the result? Cause, action. Mm -hmm. And by doing Reconnection every day, yeah. every evening. We yeah, our things will become much more clearer. That's why the Kilesas don't want to do the reflection. It will show how they work. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I should keep practicing. <laughs> you don't understand the concept. Oh, no. No. <clears throat> In the evening, when I'm laying down, yeah. before going back to sleep. No, not when you're laying down. That is not good. Oh. After sitting. Okay, okay. And then you sit, you know, and then you think about, and then you recollect, yeah? This morning, what kind of thought was in my mind? What kind of memory was in my mind when I woke up, yeah? And then you go to the next. You do not judge, yeah? Mm -hmm. You go to your action. What, what did I talk? And what came before the talking? Mm -hmm. There must be a feeling, or there must be an intention, or there's something, yeah? Yeah. I mean, is the talk always helpful? See? But you don't know why you're talking. And this is what you want to find out. What, be what, became, what came before the intention to talk? Because that gives you a clue why you went to talk. To talk or to do this or to yeah. do that or to do that. That's right. Okay, okay. Okay, I begin to slowly understand. I mean, in the beginning, in the 1920s, there were so many inventions, there were so many understandings. Yeah? Mm -hmm. A physicist 
was looking at an experiment. He did not know what the result was. Yeah? So he was looking at every slice of the, of the process. Yeah? He had some idea, you know, what, what might happen or what, what might not happen. Yeah? And then he watched it, every, every step of it. And only if he sees every step of the process, then he will understand. I mean, that's how they got, you know, to this nuclear physicist, yeah? Without that, I mean, there was no theory about it. How people like Mendelssohn, you know, how did he, how did he investigate? How did he know that you can refine fruits? So he has to, he has to look, okay, I'm doing this. Then he write down, I'm doing this. And what is happening? Okay, this is happening. Yeah? How is it happening? And then he looks, you know, observes, you know, what is happening? This is how we progress as human beings. We cannot progress by learning this or learning that. Huh? Hmm? The people, you know, who invented the, who invented the wheels saw stones rolling down the hill. Said, ah, that's a good idea. Maybe I can t put something in, you know, and, and use that. So you observe, yeah? And that's what the key is of the practice. You observe and observe and observe and observe to understand. And the recollection is nothing and to observe yourself. The first thing I should do is to observe my mind early in the morning. And then from then on, every, every step of it that you can remember. If you can't remember, just, just skip to the next yeah. thing that you can remember. Mm -hmm. huh? And over the time, if you do that daily, you know, I mean, it rush, I mean, the whole day rushes through, you know, like within five minutes. And you see every aspect of it. And then you understand what is going on. Mm -hmm. Nobody teaches us. <laughs> and you said that the, the, the kinesa is not like that. Of course. Why not? Because so it I shows how they work. That's right. It shows inside. Yeah, it shows how they trick you, constantly trick you, constantly fool you. Yeah. Why do I want to talk? Yeah. Because I'm bored or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or I want to appear or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or you, I feel uncomfortable. Mm. I mean, when you sit in the train, you know, for, for, for an hour and there's somebody else. I mean, you don't, you, you don't want not to talk. You want to talk something, you know. Because, I mean, you feel this uncomfortable feeling, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. I, I, yeah. Must, must break the ice. Well. Yeah, you so might break the ice or whatever it yeah. is, yeah. yeah. And this is what we want to get at. Mm -hmm. yeah? okay. Okay. This, 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 this is not really taught anywhere in the West. Yeah? Fine, fine. yeah. But it really gives such a clue. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it undermines the power of the clear. So they cannot fool you. If you see the tricks, how they trick you into doing this or doing that, then, then they can't trick you anymore. Yeah. And that's why they don't like it. And that's why they forget it. Yeah? I've seen people, you know, I, I teach it now for 20, over 20 years, yeah. And, and they were, when, when, they, when they came here, you know, or came to the monastery, they were really keen, doing it every day, doing every day. The moment they went back home, yeah, within, within a week, they completely forgot for one year. Yeah? The next year they came back, oh, I forgot. Then, 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 they made, then, then he made the decision. I write it on my mirror. Have you done your daily reflection yet? Question mark. He saw it for a week or two weeks. And then he forgot it. Yeah. Cannot see it. It is written but cannot see it anymore. I know, I know this. Yeah. I know. See, and that is, that is the way how the killers work. Well. Whatever is important, they make you forget. And that will happen very often in your practice. You come to, a, you come to an insight that is very important, you know, how to tackle the killers, huh? and the next moment, just one moment later, you completely forget. And all the unimportant things, you remember. <laughs> And that's why we want to get, you know, what, what we, that's why we want to get.
That's why we want to get to the basis of the caliph. Mm -hmm. And you said one first point very important is to catch the, the mood early in the morning. Not, on, not the mood, yeah? I mean, you will see how the mood develops if you have the same kind of thoughts, yeah? I mean, you're disappointed or you're frustrated or on so on, but the thought and the memories that lead to this frustration, because a thought is not a frustration, a memory is not a frustration, yeah? But with a thought comes a feeling, and with a, with a feeling you know, comes another thought or comes a memory, and then it reaches the feeling. It's like this avalanche in, your, in Mont Blanc, yeah? Throw a stone, boom! In this, we want to see the stone. We are not interested about the avalanche. Huh? The day begins with this first thought. Yeah. <clears throat> and first and it, you know, and, and it prolongs, you know. But if, if you're good, you know, I mean, you see this thought, memory, and said not interested, then suddenly the mood changes. Right. You push on the... Yeah. The and that's how we, how we learn, yeah. It's all, it's all about, you know, our practice, it's all about replacing one thing with another thing. With an unwholesome thing, with a wholesome thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, last question. I sometimes wonder myself, like, you said so many thousand times, please stop talking. Yeah. Like, don't talk too much because it means stop. Mm -hmm. well, for me it's very obvious not to talk. Yeah. I mean, to, so why do you talk? To remain silent because they, because there's something not clear with me, and I want to know. Yeah. It's not it's not because I'm, I'm I'm bored or whatever, or I want to have fun. No, 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 no. So but, then then get into get to know before you talk. What kind of intention you had? You had the intention to talk about this, and then before the intention, what came? What kind of feeling came up? What kind of memory came up? Yeah. Some, most of the time the feeling is very important, uh, sometimes the memory is very important, and sometimes you remember something, oh, I have to tell them this, but what came before this, I have to tell him this. Huh? What did I see? Because sometimes, you know, you see something and then, you know, the urge comes, oh, I have to tell him this.